Hi, I'm Maria Quinones Sanchez, Councilwoman in the 7th Councilmatic District. I am your fighter. I came to council with an agenda to help the working poor in the city of Philadelphia and those that I represent. And how we've done that legislatively through income-based payment plans, the most progressive water affordability uh, legislation in the country where 20,000 people are already enrolled and we're en route for 60,000 uh, Philadelphians, $100 million in affordable housing, support for our commercial carters, support for playgrounds, recreation centers throughout the city of Philadelphia. If the 7th Councilmatic District is doing better, so is the entire city. Thank you. Will you bring equity to our education system and address the disparities that exist from school to school and neighborhood to neighborhood? So one of the things that I have been a strong proponent of when the um, school funding formula, the student weighted formula debate happened at the state level was to ask the school district in the last couple of years, we've been asking the question about if we had a student weighted formula, what would a school to school based budget look like? Right, and one of the problems and one of the challenges with that, that the majority of school district budgets are salaries, and the more experienced teachers appear to be in the, mo in the more overachieving schools or the achieving schools, and therefore there's a gap um, in funding as it relates to them. Um, I have posed this question as a, and I put it as a challenge to the new locally controlled school board that we should go through that exercise and look at the gap and challenge ourselves to a student weighted formula in Philadelphia and that when we begin to discuss additional funding on a school to school basis that we have some court commitment to close that gap. And what does that mean? That means that in schools where you have a dis uh, desperate amount of folks who may be in special education, may have additional need services. What does that look like um, as it relates to program funding? Now, as it relates to the physical plant funding and around equity, um, I passed a resolution and we're gonna independently fund a three-year schools facilities commission task force to begin to have a dialogue about what the school of the future should look like, right? and in every neighborhood and what is it that we're going to guarantee and then what is the price tag that gets us there so that it, we can ensure that at the K to 8 level every school can every ch child ch could walk to a quality school and then at the high school level we really are providing um, young people with um, school options and not creating sort of like some of the warehousing large school based schools like the Northeast where you have 3,900 kids stuck in one uh, facility but really providing options for high school students. you can change one opinion in the world, what would it be? I could change one opinion in the world, what would it be? The notion that in order for someone to win, somebody has to lose. I really believe that if, particularly in politics, if we entered this as what is a win-win for everyone, I think the discussion and the debate, even when there's a disagreement, we can get to a better common ground. Um, and unfortunately, the federal debate is someone always has to lose for someone to win. And I think that has created more tension and more um, frustration and helping to folks listen to each other before they um, put forth their opinions um, uh, for folks. I, I, I truly believe that we spent way too much time trying to convince people of our, that we are right versus listening to people's perspective and trying to find a common ground.